So in this video, we're going to uh, discuss all the area of, of calf feeding, and I'm joined by Volex, uh, Liam Gannon. Liam, before we get into milk replacer, there's a transition period from when the calf arrives on the farm. What do we need to think about here? I suppose the main thing, if you're buying off a mart or buying off a few local farmers, is the big uh, things to bear in mind. If you're buying, try and keep the number of sources where you're buying from to, to a minimum. And if you are buying, again, in a mart, be very much aware when, the, when those calves, if they're being bought through a, through a calf dealer or whatever, and you're not buying them yourself, the distance that those calves have to travel and the stress that they've had to be brought to the mart, brought home from the mart, mixed in with other calves, so that when they arrive on your farm, the first thing you want to do with those is give those calves a chance to settle down. And we don't really have a full clue as to what type of diet they've been on. Some, there'll be a mixture of ages and some of them may be on a whole milk. Some may have come off milk replacements and been kept on dairy farms for, for longer. Uh, so the main thing, the first thing is to, to let them settle down, segregate them, isolate them on their own first if you have other calves already there, just to avoid any infections coming in. And once they do come in, um, therefore give them good access to water, good access to a bit, bit, bit of roughage, a bit of hay, or a bit of straw from a trough. And after that, even through water itself, those calves can get dehydrated, is to give them an electrolyte through water as the first feed, rather than going straight onto, onto milk replacer if that's what you're using. Um, in terms of electrolyte, it will rehydrate the calf. It will basically quickly calves can lose up to 10% of their body, body weight in a short period of time from stress. So what you want to do is something the likes of your, your powders, your, your life aids, your lectates, nothing wrong with them. But you can also the likes of the ones that have some fibrous pulp or pectins, the likes of Asgold and that, that will actually gel inside in the calf's gut with the water and basically retain fluid and stop the calf losing a lot of fluid and if it's if it's basically if it's gut wall if, there, if there's a little bit of a scour or retina caused by a bit of a tear in the gut it basically the gel will act as a lubricant and allow the walls to, to heal and basically absorb the sodium potassium sauce that contained into the electrolyte back into the calf like i just mixed up a bit here earlier it's normal the likes of as gold you're looking at um you're looking at two liters of water and your two scoops of as gold it's fibers pulp and jectins it's a very jelly in nature com compared to a straight electrolyte. A lot of straight electrolytes you have to take the calf, you, have to, you can only feed them through water, whereas the likes of your, your, your ones with the fibrous pulp and, and gels in it, the apple pulp pectins, very safe for a young calf, can actually be, be fed either through milk or milk replacer, but preferably first feed. This gel will basically allow the retain more moisture or more water in the calf and allow it to rehydrate quicker before you put it onto a solid feed. Do we always have to go with electrolyte or does it depend on where the calf is? Depend on where the calf is coming. Fairness on Richard's farm here, he's buying directly from his brother and his brother's only a few miles down the road and basically those calves were on whole milk uh, before they come in. They come in in the evening time and his first feed then will be straight on to milk replacer. And because of the age of the calves, they're coming in here at between two to three weeks of age, that he's, he's coming straight in at three litres morning and evening is what he's coming in at. 